Welcome everyone to this gorgeous Friday. And as we speak, I am going to be going to Delhi to receive this beautiful God's gift, an award that I will be getting. And I don't know what to say, but just thankful. It is the Rex Karmavir Silver Chakra that I will be receiving this year. And I cannot just, you know, I just cannot say anything else but a big thank you to God, my Baba, and everyone at the Rex team who thought about me being worthy enough to serve this coveted award. So thank you very much, everyone. And blessings to all the award winners who shall be there with us. A room full of amazing people who are, you know, doing 100 times more than I could ever imagine me doing anything. So thank you once again for giving me this opportunity to be amidst all those wonderful souls. And with that, let's get on to what our angels wish to tell us on this gorgeous day. It's a beautiful message, especially with all that is going on in our lives in the world right now. It is important for you to know that the world in itself is not a bad place, just as none of you are. It is you getting lost in the world and your ego and its illusory tricks that create the atmosphere, events and situations that further create the perception of it being bad or evil. All is pure and good in its natural existence. The world is a beautiful place to live in and you are going to be creating your own beautiful world wherever you go. All is perfectly well and orderly in this world. The angels wish to bring us this eternal truth that nothing at all is bad or evil. It is our thinking that makes it so. It is our karma, it is our adulteration of these lifetimes that we have created out of, you know, all this monkey business that we keep doing every incarnation that has made the seeming bad and evil things happen in our world. And just the way we came in that pure and pristine form, so did the world. And if we need to get back to that, we need to reverse we need to undo, unmanifest all that has been unserving. We need to unlearn all those things that have, you know, not been good for us. We need to unlearn all those dogmatic mind conditioning and beliefs that bind us. All these that no more serve us, our purpose, our path ahead. Would you by any chance be taking a medicine which was applicable 30 years back, 20 years back, or five years back? No. You would obviously be taking the latest version of it. And neither would you be taking a medicine which is expired, right? What will it do to you? But in our lives, we want to pressure ourselves with all these dogmatic bindings that actually don't serve us. So the angels ask us to break free. Break free from all these perceptions that are making us infuse this focused energy on more evil and more bad and thus giving strength. This, this propelling effect that it is causing by same events happening more and more in the world. So, retreat. Look into your life. What is it that I need to unlearn? What is it that I need to release? What is it that I need to let go? So that you can let God come in. So that you can beautify this garden of your life, which is filled with weeds. And it's not serving the healthy plants as well. So you need to get going to be this best gardener so that you can bring this garden in its pure and pristine form once again to nurture the beauty within it so that it can grow 
it can grow to the benefit of all involved. With this message, the angels wish to tell you that stop thinking of people and other events as bad and evil, but think they are unhealed. They are unhealed in their space and thus operating out of the least intensity of good that exists. And when you send out blessings and love to all those unhealed people events, rather than whining and complaining or fretting about them, then you shall be serving good. You shall be doing good in the kitty of the collective consciousness because you are sending out blessings. You are sending out God's love. And you are sending this gush of energy towards all that is seemingly evil to all of us and turning it around, transmuting it into its pure and pristine form. So work with your angels to help you stop any kind of whining or cribbing that you may be doing with world events so that you can only and only send out love and blessings into the world. With that, we move on to the color of the day. And today's color is the gorgeous indigo blue for our third eye chakra. The beautiful illuminating center that stores all the divine wisdom, divine knowledge, and the divine energies that need to permeate our consciousness with all the wisdom that we need to use in our everyday life. In its esoteric and spiritual sense, it is the center of clairvoyance. It is the center of illumination of the spiritual and the earthly path. So work with the indigo blue to ask your angels, cleanse and clear the third eye chakra and helping you to completely release and, you know, cut off or tear out all these veils that have covered it. Veils that have feared for you to look ahead in time or for you to introspect in your past and not allowing you to accept it. Clearing your third eye chakra will also help you to do that. With that beautiful message, we leave you for another gorgeous Friday. Stay blessed, loved and protected in love and light and Godspeed.